Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So I've told you we're gonna start some Arduino things and I do have a bunch of Arduino things in the house but I have purchased the package that I've been telling you or I've previously mentioned before on the channel and it has arrived so we can actually begin together. Now this is by far one of the best I think $21 you could ever spend in your life uh, from, uh, from Banggood at least that's the price of this kit. Um, this will quite literally change a lot of things in your life. It will change the way you look at electronics if you're new to this stuff. This will open the door and help you understand that it's actually super simple, that everything is just either on or off, or on for a specific certain of time, then off. And um, it'll introduce you to coding. Uh, there's a bunch of code out there, which is very good. The community is very large here. So you can just grab someone else's code, cut it up, make it work the way you want, and just go ahead and learn the process. There's a bunch of tutorials, a bunch of everything out there for the Arduino. Um, family if you want to say um so this kit is super awesome 21 bucks i remember a while ago this was like 60 bucks when i got one of these and i basically i really don't know where i place most of this stuff so just take a look here this i think this will tell you all the things that are in here and it comes with a lot of things so as you can see here we get a big fat Arduino board. They're basically all the same, just a little change here and there. And it's nothing major. You get a USB cable, prototype extension board, mini breadboard. So I'll just have you just quickly just, you know, you could pause it and just take a look uh, at the things that it comes with. It's pretty insane. Infrared receiver, photo photo resistor, you get three photo resistors, uh, active buzzer, passive buzzer, uh, jumper caps, servos. You also get a screen here and some, you know, some wires, some jumper wires and a dot matrix, I'll explain what that is, and a couple of resistors that you'll be needing, even a battery holder. So this comes with a lot of crazy stuff, and um, a flame sensor also, and a vibration sensor, which is super cool. The LEDs is what we're gonna be starting off with. I'm sure everyone starts off with LEDs. Uh, it's the easiest, and it'll help you see how everything works together. And we also have a temperature sensor, so that's gonna be pretty cool. So that's super awesome. And uh, maybe we can do some kind of subscriber counter, or even since we have a screen, and a temperature sensor we can do a room temperature sensor setup it'll be pretty cool pretty interesting so yeah so let's just take a look here uh here's the leds we're supposed to i think as it mentioned 10 of each color so there we go it's like almost christmas colors here uh here's our buttons with their covers and we do have a potentiometer this is a pen potentiometer here so that's very good and we do have our buzzers in there and a couple buttons so yep that's a big plus here are our wires for connecting the Arduino to the breadboard so we can do, you know, just write your stuff and you guys will see this if you guys don't know how to do this. The wires seem actually better quality than they used to be, so that's also a big plus. USB to connect your uh, fat Arduino board because this is the big Arduino board and it's good to start with. It's, it can handle a little bit more power, so it's a big plus to have. So they also even provide you with the USB. And don't forget, you're only paying $21 for all this stuff. It's insane. They give you more connectors, these are female to female, so these could come even in handy on your quadcopter builds, if you're here for quadcopters, uh, from the quadcopter section of my channel. And this is, I think, yeah, this is a, uh, what is it? Uh, it's kind of like an ESC, but for stepper motors, and I forgot what they're called, I think they're drivers. So that's what this is here, this will drive the stepper motor. It's a little bit different than brushless motors, it's kind of like brushless motors, but it, it's just it could it's just more it has more resolution. It could stop at specific points and do some crazy stuff. Actually, no, it's really much. I think it's really the same thing. So yeah, some small cheap servo we can do some crazy stuff with. So these are always cool to have. Uh, we do a couple. Okay, so this is the infrared transmitter. This is what transmits, and this is the infrared receiver. And this is obviously capacitor. I think. No, this is a. Um, I forgot what they're called, but it's basically a switch that you could, it has like a little bowl in it. Can you hear that? That's inside one of these. I forget which one. Both of them actually. Or tilt switch, that's what they're called. Cause like, let's just say you tilt it and then it does something. So it's pretty cool. And here's our photoresistors right there. So these ones see light, they change voltage. So you can, you, you know, when the sun comes up, turn off the LED, you know, something of that nature. All right, so, sorry, the camera died. So I don't know if I cut that out or it's in here. Uh, we do have our LEDs. This is the dot matrix they are speaking about, and um, it's pretty cool. I'll show you guys how to use this. You can do some crazy stuff with this. It's, it's gonna be it's gonna take a lot of wiring, but overall, it's gonna be pretty fun, pretty interesting. Here we have some kind of a timer. As you can see, each of them has their own separate LEDs in a way. And here we go. We also have another one, and I believe this is an LED driver, if I remember correctly. 
and we'll possibly get into this later on. There's a bunch of tutorials for these guys. Um, it's very good. You you will understand and you'll just learn so much from these little things here. Um, and just see how really simple they are. And here we have some kind of, you know, you can give power to your Arduino through a 9 volt battery. So that's a big plus to have. And what is this here? This is our screen. Um, it's a pretty good screen. These come too, I think. There's two of them usually that come. There's one that takes a bunch of wires and there's one that only takes a couple wires. I remember correctly. However, this is a very nice fat screen. It's like a LCD. It's like that big. It's a crystal screen. It's very good. And this is what we're going to be using the temperature, or we'll be building a temperature, a room temperature controller, whatever you want to call it. So it'll be pretty cool. So you can set it up, and it'll be pretty nice. So yeah, we'll take a look at this later on. All right, here's something called a proto board. This will go on top of your Arduino. Um, it kind of makes things a little bit easier and a little bit cleaner. Uh, we will be using this, so these are called shields, like proto shields. However, we're not going to be looking too deep at this just yet because um, we're going to keep this for later on. This is like it's not a bit more advanced, but we'll keep this for later on because it's just more. Once you get used to it, you'll, you'll just understand that right away. And here we have the Arduino. Uh, however, you might see, whoa, wow, why is this one so big compared to the Nano? Well, this one handles more, and um, the Nano will work just about the same, so there's no issue there. And what's so cool about this, when you burn this, you can just pop this off and just put a new one in there. I mean, expecting that you just burn this here. So this one's a little bit more detailed. As you can see, it tells you analog and PWM and these little things with the, with the lines have PWM. So which means it just does PWM and the others are basically digital and these are analog. These are analog in, so these can measure voltage basically up to 5 volts. Um, so it's pretty cool. I mean, it won't, I mean, it sounds a bit scary but it's really not you'll just it's just a couple things you need to remember and uh, you could always search for it right away so it's pretty simple and um it's a pretty nice board um can't really say nothing it's an open source project and uh, everything just usually works and you never have any issues here's a reset button and you just connect it through here the Arduino nano works exactly the same thing however um it's just when you go to compile you just have to use a different compiler because the routing is a bit different so yeah they do give us resistors for the LEDs, which is a plus, so you don't burn them. So let me explain to you something about LEDs. Why do you need a resistor with an LED? Imagine LED is like a crack addict or something. And no matter how much you give him, he'll just suck it all up until he dies. And LED is exactly the same thing with electricity. If you just set that electricity open for him, he'll, 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 he'll commit suicide. That's how most LEDs work. And that's why they give you resistors. These kind of uh, block the amount of current to go in so he doesn't kill himself so yeah that's something about LEDs maybe some of you knew maybe some of you never knew so yeah uh, this is a remote because we had a IR sensor here or receiver where did it go um, I've placed it somewhere anyways oh here it is this one right here so for example if we set up the temperature the room temperature thing um, and the humidity temperature thing, uh, we can be able just to scroll through. We could program any of these buttons to do whatever we want. So that's pretty cool. However, does it have a battery here? Hmm. Nope, it doesn't have a battery. So you're gonna need to get yourself a battery. So yeah, so this is gonna be pretty cool. And um, what else here? This is a breadboard. This is a big plus. Uh, previously, they never gave you stuff like this. You had you had to buy them yourself. And I'm a big fan of these. I'll show you how to use those. And this is very cool. I've never gotten one of these before. So basically a box, I think, just to house our LEDs and and um, our little stuff, you know, LEDs. Or maybe our resistors here. We could bend them a little, possibly. Yeah, they fit just perfect. So that's just, that's very cool. That's very nice. And, um, yeah. Overall, this seems like a very good buy. Um, you can learn absolutely. You could build a lot of things with just these things right here. Twenty-one bucks is just insane. Um, back then, this was like sixty, if not more, when I got mine. And um, yeah, so this is a huge plus, and I do highly recommend for everyone to just get started a little bit because just that little extra knowledge can just boost a lot of things. It can give you some crazy ideas. And you never know, you might build something that no one ever thought about before. So, who knows. So overall, I do highly recommend this kit. And I um, just wanted to quickly do a little unboxing before we get started. To show you what you can get if you did not understand what I was trying to say before. 
and you just just get a lot of stuff here and it's just gonna be super awesome and super good obviously you need a soldering station oh no actually you don't you don't even need a soldering iron here so that's that's also a big plus that's why we have all those breadboards and stuff so yeah well that's it guys so i really hope you guys liked it i really hope you guys enjoyed it and just stay tuned we're gonna start the arduino stuff very soon on the channel um if it's the weather is super hella bad super windy snow and all that kind of crazy stuff at least you can stay home and build something and just play with it uh you can, you can even have you can even play with it to monitor the weather for you on your balcony or in your backyard and uh later on we'll get a little bit more advanced with some bluetooth stuff and some wireless stuff to actually send you the data on your phone in a push notification and let you know how cold it is in the room or how cold it is outside what's the humidity if it's raining or not raining we can do all that crazy stuff or maybe how many um subscribers blah 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 got or a, a news feed. We can even do a news feed from some kind of JSON API. So it'll be pretty cool, pretty interesting. And um, let me know what you guys think about this. And if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And I uh, will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.